A groundbreaking organisation distributing surplus goods to charity has been announced as a finalist in the EY Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. Good360 is a matchmaker between some of Australia's top businesses and charities, distributing more than 8 million brand new goods to people in need, reducing waste in the process. Founder of Good360, Alison Covington, joins us now. Alison, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Good360 has been operating in the US for some 35 years. What, what inspired you to want to bring the model to Australia and replicate it here? I was really inspired because we've been working in Australia with food waste, but nobody had actually been matching up non-perishable brand new goods. Um, so for 35 years, the US had solved that, but here in Australia, we hadn't. Um, so I just couldn't understand what was happening to those brand new toys and clothes and health and beauty goods. Um, and once I had that knowledge, I just thought, we had to do something here in Australia, so I started it. Sounds like a bit of a no-brainer, really. There was a huge gap in the market. You match surplus goods from retailers with some... I know the numbers are always moving, but about 1,300 charities. What sort of items come your way? So we work with um, brands like Big W, L'Oreal, Lush and Lego. So their surplus and spare goods we match with charities and eligible schools. Um, so those charities can be the big name charities that we know like Salvos, Mission, Wesley, through to the small grassroots and community organisations nationwide. Um, and those goods are helping people in Australia to lift up Australians who need them most. We, we don't think about these big companies as having this kind of waste, as you say, we tend to think about food waste. If they weren't going to Good360, they would have gone to waste. We don't even want to think about where they would have ended up. So it's win-win all round. What we want to point out is we're talking about these are brand new products in really good condition. Many cases they've still got the tags on, mm. perfectly good products. It's... As we say, it's win-win. What sort of difference does it make to people's lives when they get their hands on these products? Have you yes. seen that firsthand? Yeah, absolutely. We get so many beautiful stories back. One that really resonates with me is that Big W wanted to help um, with the back-to-school campaign. So they asked us, you know, if we could assist um, if we had any disadvantaged schools that needed back-to-school supplies. And we said absolutely. Um, so we helped um, distribute some back-to-school supplies to disadvantaged schools. Um, and we got this fantastic story back from one of the teachers. And it wasn't a big donation, but it really resonated with me because the teacher told me how a young boy, Joseph, um, wasn't eating his lunch with his um, schoolmates. He was embarrassed to have lunch and he wouldn't eat lunch. And what it worked out was that he was embarrassed that his lunch wasn't packed like his mates at school because he didn't have a lunch box in a drink bottle. It was being packed in a plastic bag um, because he just didn't have those... Um, um, lunch box and bottles and so the teachers had received those donation from us from Big W so she organized to give that to him when he when she worked out what the problem was and he was so thrilled to have that and it's just a really simple donation but you can see that the kindness of a really small donation makes such a big difference and now he's thriving because he's the same as his little friends at school and to me that just makes all the difference and for Big W they just wanted to do something that was a small gift but made a huge difference in a little boy's life. That is a, it is a beautiful story. I think yeah. most of us can relate to that with kids and you also see though a huge difference in the lives of adults. Mm. What sort of impact does it have on them to be able to have these products for their, for their self-esteem and their dignity? Because I know you help women's shelters as well. Yeah, absolutely. So we work with L'Oreal. Um, so, you know, you often sort of think, well, you know, that's not an absolute need to have product. Um, but, you know, we all, you know, lots of women leave home with their hair and makeup done. Um, and for women to be able to feel like other women in the workplace, like that's an absolute necessity. And it's that self-esteem that we feel when we look like other women or, you know, it just gives us that little sense of joy to have been gifted something like that. Um, and that's what we get reported back from our charities is the sense of the gift. And the other one that really makes me feel happy is that often it's the gift that the child gets to give to their mother. So we all sort of think on Mother's Day, it's the, you know, the child giving that gift to their mother. And that's what our charities are able to do, is to be able to give gifts to their children, to be able to give to their mothers or fathers on those special gift-giving occasions. The charities get these products for free, 
So they go on to the Good360 website and, and then how does it work? Is it a bidding system? Who gets what? No, so we have a website, like an e-commerce platform, where we list all the products from our donors. Um, the charities have to be registered with the ACNC or the schools have to have a disadvantage index to be able to register with us. Once we vet them and ensure that they are the right charities who are eligible for our system, um, they're then registered and they're eligible to come and choose what they want. And I think that's the really important thing, is that often in society, charities are just given products that they may not need, um, whereas they can come to our website and choose the product that suits their community and the people that they're working with. Um, and that's really important for charities to have that choice. As we mentioned, you're now a finalist in the EY Entrepreneur of the Year. Congratulations about Thank that. Thank you. You've got big aims for Good360. Where do you hope to take it? So we want to actually distribute $1 billion worth of goods um, to Australians who need them most by 2025. So it's a big ambition, um, but we know there's plenty of goods that are able to be do um, donated um, and we want to be able to help many Australians here um, with those goods. Sounds like you're on track. Alison, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.